Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go over Goal 10 version 2.4 B5. Uh, it was just released today by Sistro. There is a few features that we will certainly get into. As you can see here, it is only a beta version. Um, so if you do have any issues, you can certainly report them on the Goal 10 Discord server. Um, but yeah, let's just jump right into it. So our first first feature is the added FTP server version 2.1, thanks to Hippie 68. For the general user, this isn't going to affect you for what you FTP or or whatever you use the FTP server for. Um, I will certainly get into it in a little bit in the video here. Um, but let's just jump on to the next one. Added multi cheat support. Uh, basically, what this means, if you look up in the image here. We have two pages now. This is just in case uh, two people make the cheats. Then you can actually add both cheats on there. And you can toggle it between each one. Um, that's basically all that means. Um, edit multi-firmware support. For the basic user, this isn't going to make a difference. Um, it just means that there's one file now that works for all three firmwares. Um, for web hosts, um, like myself, Chameleon, PRB, uh, Lethal, Wolf, etc. Um, it, it just makes everything a little easier now, especially for sizes because one file covers all three of these firmwares. So you're going to see a big difference on the e DSP boards because now it's just one gold hen and we're limited to that four megabytes. So we might be able to squeeze in the 505, 6.72, and 9.00 just on the one 4 megabyte board. Um, it'd be certainly uh, interesting to look into. And I noticed a lot of uh, payloads now that do come out, they're, they're multi they're multi firmware support. So it's one payload and it works for all the firmwares. So it'd be interesting to look into. I will be certainly uh, checking it out and seeing what I can do with the with the four megabyte limit. Let's jump on to the next one here. Add a package install uh, source settings. This was a big thing for me. Um, basically what it does now is it gives us the option to select uh, the internal storage for our package installs because we're, we're able to, inst uh, to install packages from the PS4 itself and then we can go ahead and just install from the USB if we want to do that and then we have the option to install from both. Um, I will get into that in a little bit and I will show you exactly why it is a good feature but let's go ahead and just jump over to the PS4 now. Okay so now that we're over to the PS4 I've already went ahead and I loaded up Gold 10 2.4 B5 Let's go ahead and hit our PlayStation button, and then we're going to jump over to settings right now. Go up to Goal 10 options, go down to the About, and then we'll go to About Goal 10. Scroll down just a little bit here to the FTP server version 2.1, thanks to Hippie86. Uh, the port still stays the same. The additional features here, now the decrypt, uh, toggle server side decryption of self files, enabled by default the MT proc and the MTRW. Mounts the proc file system and mounts read-only system partition with read-write access. For the general user, none of these features mean anything, so I'm not really gonna get into them. Um, other than that there, we'll keep on scrolling down. And we can see that we do have our change log here. So the edit the FTP server, Added multi-cheat support, which we will get into. Uh, added multi-firmware support, and then added package installer source settings. We'll get into that as well. So we'll go ahead and back out of there. And we'll come up to the debug settings. And as you can see right here, under package installer, we do have package source. If we go ahead and select it, you can see our three options here. USB, hard drive, and then all. So we go ahead and select all, and then we oh, we don't need to back out. We go into the package installer. You can see that it does list all the packages on the internal as well as the USB as long as they're in the right folder. Um, as for the USB, the root of it and the internal is your Gold Hand package folder. 
So we'll go ahead and back out of there for right now. We'll go ahead and change it to just the hard drive. And we're going to package installer. You can see that they all are there, the ones that are on my internal. And if we go into the USB, you can go ahead and see that they are all here. So the, the benefits of this here, I'm able to actually go install all now, and I don't have to worry about the packages on my internal. So it does make everything a lot more convenient. Um, so we'll back out of there, and we'll get into the cheat system here. Uh, we'll go ahead and use Sonic Mania. Now, this particular game doesn't come with multi-cheats, uh, multi so I just went ahead and created another cheat just to uh, show for the video here. Um, later on down the road, now that we have this option, I would imagine there will be multi-cheats being added daily. Everybody will be able to add their own cheats. And of course, you can go ahead and create your own and just FTP it over to the Bolton folder. So if we go ahead and hit our option button, you can see that we do have uh, Red Devil 82 cheats are here. And uh, you can see up the top right there, page one of two. So if we go ahead and hit R1, you can see that uh, cheats created by Echo Stretch. And there is two here. Now I just took these here cheats uh, from Red Devil. It was just to make the video here, just to show you that uh, you can go ahead and hit the R1 and bring up another cheat menu. And of course you can go ahead and select one of them, unselect them. And uh, yeah guys, that's basically it for the video. Um, I just want to jump on, show you the new features. Hope you did enjoy the video. Um, certainly go ahead and hit that like button if you did. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.